Hey you, welcome to Shades of Content, a show that teaches entrepreneurs how to effectively use content to market their business and stay content while doing it. I'm your host Patrice, a wife, a mom of three, and a 15 year public relations and marketing professional who decided to open a brick and mortar content studio four years ago. And I honestly haven't looked back since. Join me as I share my experiences and the experiences of other entrepreneurs who, like me, are navigating this maze of owning a business, running a family, and trying to stay sane and healthy while doing it. I'll tell you, it's an amazingly challenging journey, but I honestly wouldn't have it any other way. See you soon. This episode is brought to you by Black Girl Holidays the content planner and calendar that highlights black women, black girl magic 24 seven, 365. And you guys all knew for 2022, black girl holidays is not only a calendar like it was before, but it's also a full planner. Okay. Get your black girl holidays content calendar or planner today by visiting www.blackgirlholidays.com and make sure you use that shades of content coupon code so you can get a percentage off again, blackgirlholidays.com or just tap the link in the show notes y'all. Welcome to the first episode of 2022 for the shades of content podcast, but I don't even like saying podcast anymore. And I learned this from listening to another podcast, because when you say podcast, you kind of limit it to this one thing, but like, this is a show. So welcome to Shades of Content. I am beyond grateful for the opportunity to see a new year. I know people who didn't make it to 2022, and I'm thankful that we're here. I'm thankful I'm able to talk to you and see you. I'm thankful that you're able to see me and or hear me. And, um, you know, I really believe that this year, as I believe every year, right? You know how we always say, this is gonna be my year, this is gonna be my year, but this is gonna be my year too. And 2021 was my year and 2020 was my year. So I'm keeping the energy positive and I'm just really happy to be here. So if you hear this, let's just give a collective thank you God or thank you to the higher power that whoever it is that you listen to or that you believe in because it is a blessing to wake up every day and see the sunshine. I'm thankful for that. All right, so you probably noticed a few changes, right? If you got this, got to this show from your your podcast platform, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, whatever you listen to, it looks different. We don't have that same shades of content logo slash podcast cover anymore. Did away with that, and that logo and that brand served me for almost two years. I'm super thankful for it. I created it myself on Canva. But I learned in just my two years of intaking lots of podcasts and just really seeing how this how this world works, that you have so much more bang for your buck when you actually have a picture, when people can see the podcast and they can associate it with a person. So I added my face to the podcast graphic. We updated the logo, which we'll talk a little bit more about that later. The Camp Space logo is still there because that's who I am, right? Camp, camp space is a part of me, but it's just fresh. It's just new. The colors are different. And it, again, speaks to where we are right now, right? So content has always been the hub of this show. And for the last almost four years, it's kind of been uh, the hub of my life. And actually, when I think about it, and I talked about this a lot in Uh, the Camp Space Story episode, which is either episode two or three. If you haven't listened to it, you can link to it in the show notes. But even before I owned a content studio, I was a PR girl, right? A PR and communications and marketing consultant. So I spent lots of years creating content, creating videos, creating scripts, creating blog posts, creating social media posts. So I had been doing that for a very long time. But when I decided to go along this journey of opening a brick and mortar studio, which is, if you're watching this, this is where we are right now. If you're new to this thing, you got to go back to listen to the other episodes. But we're in my content studio. um, And after creating this business, content became an even more uh, prevalent part of my life, obviously, because people use my business to create content for their businesses. But also, I have really taken the initiative and the just the initiative to learn as much as I can about content, right? So I host this show. I like to post, you know, really thoughtful things on social media. I look at other people who are creating really cool things and I I take it all in and I try to see 
what can I learn from it? How can I take that and apply it to my life? So like I said, content has always been really a part of who I am. However, as I've gone along this journey of owning a brick and mortar business, which is very customer facing, I'm talking to a customer every day about something. I'm talk, working with my team. If you're new here, fill you in. I'm married. I have three children who are in all different stages of their life. Um, and life can get hectic. So as much as content means to me and my life and my business, being content is also so important. And the definition of content means peaceful happiness. And that was important to me. So I decided to take the name Shades of Content and use that word content, make it a play on words. So if you're looking at the logo, you'll see that phonetic spelling at the top. That's the content part. And that's the part that I want to focus a little more on with this episode or with this, this show, but also with the word content being there in big letters, because like I said, that is the hub and that is really why we're here. And that contentment, you know, that part of that being content part comes when you do the work to take care of yourself physically, mentally, spiritually, all of that stuff, right? You can have the most amazing business in the world. You can be making all the money in the world, right? Serving people and, and making a great name for yourself. But the truth is, if you are not well, if you have not taken the time to honor who you are and to think about what your vivid vision is and to... You know, it's just like take time, then none of that stuff matters. And being content, right, this this idea of the peaceful happiness part, that doesn't mean that things are always going to be what you want them to be, right? Like life is life and there's always going to be ups and downs. But even through the stress, and I'll give you an example. So yesterday I was at my computer probably for five hours straight. I would get up to walk or whatever and drink my water. But I was sitting at the computer for a very long amount of time. And then I had to leave and pick up my kids and get my nails done and like just do all the things. So yesterday was very stressful for me, but I was content in knowing that I was working towards the goal of the day. And so I use that as the example to say this idea of being content does not mean being able to just kind of like chill and not do anything. It doesn't mean making all the money and just like living this fabulous, glamorous life. It doesn't mean that for me. It really means um, that you've done the work to learn all that you can about your business and your industry, and you've come to a place where you know you the shit. You know you've done what you need to do. And I hope that this podcast and our new focus, I'm sorry, this show and our new focus gives you the tools so that you can work towards that contentment, whatever it means for you. All right, guys, so I spent the last two weeks literally breaking down and planning out how I was going to make this rebrand happen. And I'll be honest, with me being a public relations consultant for so many years before I went along this process of opening my space and having this podcast, I would get a little annoyed when people would put so much effort into launching and rebranding because a lot of times people would do that and then nothing good would come of it. Like you would have your big launch and you would be working and open for two weeks and then you would just kind of fizzle away. <laughs> So I didn't want this rebrand to take away from the purpose of why we're here, but I did know that the new year, the new start was a perfect opportunity to like make things happen. And ideally I would have wanted a month to make it happen. I would have wanted maybe two months to make it happen, but I made it happen in two weeks. That'll be another podcast episode. Um, so we're not going to get into all of that today. But I have been pounding the pavement to make all of this happen. And if you're watching this, it's all together now. But I'm telling you, as I'm recording it, it ain't all together. But we making it work and we're going to figure it out. So like I said, there'll be another episode where I talk about what this two-week rebranding, rebranding process looks like. But for you, the listener, there are some things that I want you to know. And I'm going to tell you what you should be expecting more of and what you should be expecting less of as we go into this new this new dawning, right, of the Shades of Content show. So I'm gonna go down the list of the more of. So with Shades of Content, you guys are going to see and hear more brand partners. I'm speaking that into existence. For the first 10 months of this, no, two years, 24, 22 months of this show, I have secured a whopping $50 in brand partnerships, okay? <laughs> 
And part of that, or the main reason of that is because I have not actively sought out any type of brand partners. I wanted to use this show, Shades of Content, primarily as a way to market my business camp space. That was the, the, the main thing, and also to have great conversations. But the number one reason was just to market this business. Um, but now, as I've gone, as I'm approaching year two of this, we're 50 plus episodes in, it's time for some brand partners, right? I have showed that I can be consistent. I have committed to the process. I know how to do this. And I'm confident in what I have to say. And I know that there are a lot of you all that brand partners want to reach. So you guys are 100% going to see more and hear more brand partners because I want this platform to be self-sufficient. I don't want to put any more, not I don't want to put any more money into it, but I think I've invested enough to now have other companies and other opportunities take over the load. So you will definitely see more and hear more brand partners. You will also see and hear more detailed, real conversations from business owners. So you guys know I have definitely interviewed other business owners, other creators, but I wanna get even more into the business conversation. I want my guests to talk about the money. I want them to talk about the stress. I want them to be so honest about their entrepreneurial journey um, on two levels, right? How they've used content to make their business come to fruition, but also the things that they've done to reach those points of contentment. And like I said earlier, contentment and being content looks different for everyone. And so that's where the shades come into, right? So the shades of contentment, um, like it varies for everybody, but I think it's so valuable to hear those stories. So more detailed conversations with business owners. There will also be more bossed up guests. Now, I definitely think I kind of played it safe with reaching out to certain people for interviews. And I remember last year, last summer, summer 2021, I was planning a trip and I had actually reached out to a lot of very well-known people. Surprisingly, not surprisingly, but unfortunately, none of them replied back. And I say unfortunately, not because they didn't do what I wanted them to do. I say unfortunate because they didn't respond. And this is going to be a whole nother uh, podcast episode, but if you're going into 2022 without responding to emails or without having an assistant or someone on your team to respond to emails, you are not going to succeed. I don't care what anybody says. It's always going to catch up to you. Again, that's another conversation, but answer your emails. Sorry about that little tangent, but that if you listen to the show, you know that's something that really just grinds my gears. Um, but more bossed up guests. So I am not afraid anymore to reach out to people and be like, hey, this show is amazing. Your story is great. Let's talk about it on the show. So I definitely want to have more bossed up guests. And that might look like having more men on the show. There might mean having a more diverse pool of guests because... There is so much value in learning from all types of people, right? Everybody's experience, everyone's experiences make them who they are and, 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 and contribute to their story. So definitely more bossed up guests, more diversity, more segments, I think. I have not thought of any segments at this point yet. <laughs> So if you have any ideas, shoot me an email. The email is in the show notes. Again, have not thought of any segments, but I know that I listen to podcasts and the ones that have the segments that I look forward to, i.e. my girls at Poor Minds, you know, they do the bop of the week. They do the pour your heart out segment. It's just like the thing you look forward to and it's the scheduled cadence that the listener looks forward to. I can't think of another word to say. So I do think there will be more segments or not even more, but I think there will be segments because that's something I've never did before, but I do need your help in figuring out what that looks like. Next up, there will be a healthy balance of talking about the content marketing part of business, but also talking about being content. So I really think it'll be a mix. I think half the episodes will talk about marketing. The other half will talk about content and self-care. And then some will be a mix of both. So just think that that, you know, kind of understand that that is where we will go with that. Um, I'm also deciding, I think, I kind of don't even want to say it because I don't like talking about things until they happen, but 
Here we are. Y'all know if I say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Merchandise. So I have some ideas on just some cool shirts, some cool mugs. Why not? Um, that I want to make happen and I do plan to make happen. Um, true story. As I was thinking about rebranding this show, I wanted to change the name. I'm like, if we're going to change the logo and all that stuff, we need to change the name too. So I had a conversation with my homegirl, one of my closest friends from high school, Rita, who was also my trademark attorney, who you guys have heard me talk about if you've listened to the show in the beginning. And, you know, she told me that basically all of the names that I wanted weren't available or they were not good options and they would cost me a lot more money to move forward with trademarking or should I need to like fight somebody in court. And I definitely think that was a sign of God just saying, nah, boo, keep it as it is. Um, shades of content. I t when, when we did more research, I am the only one that's using that term. I could trademark it very easily. It's already, when you Google it, this is what you see. So it just made sense to stay along those lines. But she also told me that even though I couldn't use some of those other names to trademark as the show name, I can use them for merchandise. So I am planning to do that, right? And I think they're cool, nothing crazy just like really cool, clean shirts, sweatshirts, merchandise. So I'm really hoping that, or I'm planning to roll that out later this year too. So those are the things you're gonna see more of. Now I'm going to get into the things that you will hear and see. Oh, one more thing, more video, duh. I don't even know how I forgot that. More video. I have been studying podcasts for so two weeks to rebrand, one week to like really like just study all the podcasts that I love. Shout out to Social Proof Podcast with David Shands and Donnie Wiggins. Shout out to the I Am Athlete Podcast with Brandon Marshall. The I Am Woman Podcast with his wife Michi and all her girls. I watch those episodes like crazy. And I think that my show can be just as great. So this first episode of 2022 is... Uh, if that's me making it happen, I am working on the schedule for recording and I am really committed to videoing or capturing all the episodes via video um, and then turning them into podcasts. So I'm super excited about that actually. It's gonna be more of an investment, but I believe that that will then give me more leverage when I'm talking to brand partners and brand sponsors because no, we don't just have audio, now we have video, we can do commercials, we can do all these great things. And y'all already know video is, video is everything. Like if you're not incorporating video in your marketing, um, in your marketing mix, then you are missing out. And so like what better way to just, than just to record these episodes strip the audio, load it onto the platforms for, for platforms or for podcasts. All right, so that's what we're doing more of. Now let's get into what we're doing less of. There will be less focus on content creators. And as I said before, we really need to start looking at content creators as business owners. And if we are content creators, then we need to understand that that is a business. Um, and so I, I want to focus less on highlighting content creators versus highlighting entrepreneurs who are using content. So as an entrepreneur, you're using content to market to your customers. You're using content to market to brand partners. You're using content to tell your story, all of those things. Like we're all business owners if we're in this game together. Um, so there'll be less focus on the, someone is a content creator and more focus on this is the business that they own, and this is how content plays a role in that business. And then obviously, as I said before, also, how are they, how are they working at their contentment? Also mention this too, there will probably be less focus on women. We, I work with so many amazing guys, like, and that's just the honest to God truth. Like, I learned from lots and lots of people. Before today, we had one, two, three, male guests on the show, I believe. That is most likely, I know it's gonna change. I already have a list of like 10 guys I wanna interview for the show. So definitely be looking out for um, less focus on women and just more inclusion so that you guys and me can learn from everybody who's killing it. 
and there will also be less inconsistency. So for the last few months, I've been doing really well with the weekly cadence. And if you remember, this show actually started as a bi-weekly podcast. And if you go on Apple right now or any of your podcast platforms, I'm pretty sure it still says bi-weekly. We are no longer a bi-weekly podcast. So no more bi-weekly, no more inconsistency. This is a weekly show. Shades of Content is a weekly program that gives you um, the tool. So, you know, I want you to be able to tap in every Friday. We, we lit. We probably, we're going to stay releasing on Fridays because that gives you the whole weekend to listen. But um, yeah, like I'm not inconsistent anymore. I've figured out my cadence. And bottom line is if, because I have 55, 53 episodes in the can, I can always just replay something. So if something happens and I'm not able to get the episode out for the next week, I can just load something and do a replay. Um, And these are all the things that you learn as you're like going along this podcast show process and all valuable lessons that I'm so happy it took me almost two years to learn because now I, you really can't tell me nothing. And no, I don't have millions of downloads or even thousands of downloads. Well, actually I do. We hit 4,500 a few days ago. Um, Tens of thousands yet. But all that stuff comes. I'm not really focused on the numbers when it comes to like the number of people. I'm not focused on that right now. I just want to push out consistently great information, visuals, content that, like I keep saying, helps you be better and really helps us build this community of um, new age, millennial entrepreneurs. You know what? I think I need to update the show description to kind of put that word millennial in there because my friends and I, number one, we've all known each other for years. And I'm like looking at Andre right now, my videographer, and we've been working together for at least 10 years, I feel like, right? And we've seen each other like go through this process and no matter the the no matter the heights that each one of us reach and this is this is all of my network included we stay connected and that is so important and i think that is something that is very unique to our generation right this millennial group this like 35 to 43 like we are working we're raising kids we are creating these businesses that are like legacy businesses that are hopefully going to withstand our lifetimes. And we're just all working together, which is such a beautiful thing. Um, And so I just want, I want, when you hear this, I want you to feel the love. I want you to feel the connectivity through the conversations that I'm having. And I want you to know that I'm talking to you. And even if you don't fit like within that demographic, I do believe the information, the people, the connections, All of those things will be useful to anybody, whether you're an 18 year old trying to get your YouTube page popping or a 61 year old who just retired and wants to start, you know, a trucking business like these tools and principles that we share on this show. The plan is that they will be um, relevant to everybody. All businesses need content marketing, but if you aren't content, In your role as a business owner, none of that matters. And I am so passionate about this show. It's so crazy to think about March, early March 2020, right before the pandemic, when I planned on starting the show. It launched on my son's birthday. My oldest son, March 19, 2020, is is Shades of Content's birthday. And I was so nervous, y'all. I like the butterflies in my stomach were intense. I was scared. I had thought about this show six months prior. I had a, I have a list, a Google Doc dated like June of 2020. No, I'm sorry, June of 2019. I took Nikayla Matthews podcast, Mogul's class. I did all this work and still sat on the idea for a good six months. And that happens, right? I'm not beating myself up about it. But to look at where the show is today, I'm really proud of it. And it's a testament to just doing what you know is right listening to God and pushing forward, moving in faith, even when you feel the fear. I'm not scared anymore to do this show. Like I come in, I sit down, I talk. Even now we're, now that we're adding video, I'm a little nervous that I'm not gonna like how I look on camera, but 
I don't care. Y'all ain't thinking about that. Y'all are just taking in what I'm putting out as far as the energy goes. So I'm happy that I'm here. I'm so excited to to have a rebrand, like a refresh. And I don't know if this rebrand or refresh will happen again. I think we're pretty solid with what Shades of Content looks like and what it feels like. Um, but if you do nothing else, please head over to my Instagram page, at Patrice Camo. It's linked in the show notes. Let me know what you think about everything. Let me know if it makes sense. I kind of feel like I was rambling a little bit this episode. It's okay. <laughs> it's life. But check my Instagram out. Like I said, the link is in the show notes. Um, and let me know if it, if you, if you get it, right? Like, I want us to all be better business owners, better entrepreneurs, CEOs, all of that stuff. So just tell me what you think. I take it all in. I receive it all. Um, and we'll be back with another episode next week. Because like I said, we keeping this thing consistent. Um, I think that's it. Happy 2022. I can't believe I'm in 2022. I remember when... 2000 happened. Like I legit remember being in high school thinking that the world was coming to an end and it didn't. 22 years later, we are still here. We are still alive. We are still thriving. We're healthy. We're breathing. And that is cause for celebration. So I appreciate you. I can't wait to see you next week and happy new year. All right, now, y'all, don't forget to connect with Shades of Content on Instagram at Shades of Content and with me, Patrice Camo, at Patrice Camo. And also be sure to rate this show, leave a review and subscribe because that's actually the only way that we're going to grow. I'll see you next week.